Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 10, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Before we do, I just did a quick little breakdown of how you find the areas of different shapes. So if you guys wanna go ahead, pause it, take a picture, write it down, do whatever you gotta do. Today, we're only gonna need the triangle, um, but just so that you guys have it, okay? All right, so this is our formula for a triangle, okay? And it just wants us, it wants us to find, you'll see when we flip these up, that what we really have is triangles, okay? So what it wants us to do is to find the area of one triangle and then multiply it by the number of triangles we have. Pretty easy, okay? So we have to do base times height, 6.2 times 9, okay? So 9 times 2 is 18, carry the 1. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 1 is 55, and we're going to go in one time for that decimal, so 55.8, okay? Now, we could multiply that by one half, and typically multiplying is easier, but we don't have any fractions, so we have decimals. So rather than to try to make a fraction, we're going to divide by 2, okay? So 55.8 inside, we're going to divide by 2. 2 will go into 5 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract, get 1. 1 is smaller than 2, so I'm going to bring down my other 5. Oh, and I'm going to move my decimal up, okay? 2 goes into 15 7 times, 2 times 7 is 14, subtract, get 1. Okay, 1 is smaller than 2 again, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 8. 2 goes into 8 9 times, 9 times 2 is 18, subtract, get 0. So. 29, or sorry, 27.9, okay? Now, we're gonna take that 27.9 and we're gonna multiply it by one, two, three, four, five triangles, okay? So, five times nine is 45, carry the four. Five times seven is 35, plus four is 39, carry the three. Five times two is 10, plus three, is 13 and we're going to go in one place for that decimal 139.5 and we multiplied it's by yards but we multiplied yards by yards so it's going to be yards squared okay make sure you've got that decimal in the right place try and make it so y'all can see it okay all right we're going to do it one more time okay so now we've got 3.3 by four, 3.3 times four, okay? Four times three is 12, carry the one. Four times three is 12 again, plus one more is 13. We're gonna go in one place for the decimal, okay? Now, now I need to divide that by two. Again, I don't have a fraction, so I'm gonna divide it by two. Two's not going to go into one. It'll go into 13 six times. I'm going to put that decimal up. Six times two is 12. Subtract, get one. Now, one is smaller than two, so I'm going to bring down that other two. And two goes into 12. We just said six times. That is 12. Subtract, get zero. So, one of those triangles is 6.6. .6, but I have One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. I have an octagon. I need to multiply it by eight. So eight times six is 48. Carry our four. 48 again, plus four more is 52. I'm gonna go in one place for the decimal, 52.8. And we're in inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay, I want for you guys to do four and five. You totally can. I believe in you. We're going to do it again down in the problem solving. Okay, it says Stu is making a stained glass window in the shape of a rectangular pentagon. Well, a pentagon has five sides. So when we're done, we're going to multiply it by five. Okay, the pentagon can be divided into congruent triangles, each with a base of 8.7 and a height of six. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. 
And then we're going to do that because it's a pentagon, okay? Those are our three steps, okay? So six times seven is 42, carry our four. Six times eight is 48, plus four more is 52. I'm gonna go in one time for my decimal, 52.2, okay? Two goes into five, two times, two times two is four, subtract, get one. One is smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my next two. Two goes into 12, six times, I'm gonna put my decimal in, six times two is 12, subtract, get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down that last two, and two goes into two, one time, one times two is two, subtract for zero. So 26.1, grab, okay, now, we're just gonna multiply, okay? Pentagon has five sides, that's why I'm multiplying it by five, okay? Five times one is five, five times six is 30, carry our three. Five times two is 10, plus three is 13. We're gonna go in one place for our decimal, 130.5. And that is in inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared, okay? Pause it right down your work, guys, okay? You got to show your work. Okay. A dinner platter is in the shape of a rectangular decagon. Well, a decagon, deca means 10. So we have 10 sides, okay? All right. So we're going to be multiplying whatever it is by 10. It has an area, ooh, of 161 square inches. Side length of 146 inches. What is the area? Oh, the platter has an area. Okay. So we need to find the area of the triangle and the height of each triangle. Yikes. Okay. Well, hmm. All right. Well, here's the thing a decagon is. 10. So to get 161, and we're going to divide that by 10, which just means we would move the decimal from the end to right there. So our area for each one of them is going to be 16.1. Okay. Inches squared. Okay. So that is our area for each triangle. Okay, all right, so now we need to find the height of the triangle. So I'm going to write down sorry, right, I'm going to write down the formula. For us, and then I'm going to fill in the blanks. Okay. So I know that the area is 16.1, okay? I know that the base is what it's calling the side length is 4.6, okay? Uh, it wants me to find the height and I would still have to divide by two, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna combine my like terms first, okay? And I'm gonna do this mentally. You can absolutely write this out the long way if you need to, okay? But I know that two goes into four, two times, and two goes into six, three times, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite this now, okay? All right. So in order to get H alone, which is what I want, I want the height. I need to do the opposite of the sign, which is divide, and I need to do that with the number that's attached to it, which is 2.3. Now, whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side. So, now I'm gonna put 16.1 in the box. I take it back, give me just a second. I'm going to put 161 in the box because 
I cannot have a decimal outside the box, which means that I need to move each of those, okay? So now I'm going to have 151 and I'm gonna have 23 on the outside because I can't have a decimal outside the box. I have to move it one, okay? So we do the division on bit two, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna use my handy dandy calculator so that I can um, just get my multiples of 23. It is okay to use your calculator to get your multiples. It is not okay to use it to do your work. Now you'll notice that I'm going to keep going because 23 doesn't go into 1 or 16. So I'm going to get as close as I can to 161. Oh, and look. So there's 161. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. Okay, and 7 times 23 was 161 subtracted 0. So now my height is 7 inches. Okay, I'm gonna move that so you guys can see it without the light in there. Okay, you don't have to write down your multiples, but you do need to write down that as a continuation of this work. Okay, so pause it, write down your work. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. Okay. Now it says which inequalities have B equals four as one of its solutions. Okay. So this says that two plus we could put if we plug four in there, so that makes six is bigger than or equal to two. Well, that would work. Okay. All right. So three times four, because we're plugging every time we see B, we're plugging in four. Okay. So three times four would be 12, and 12 is smaller than or equal to 14. Well, that would work, okay? Eight minus four, we're plugging four in again. Well, that's four, is that smaller than or equal to 15? It sure is. Four minus three would be one. Is that bigger than five? No, it's not. So you have those three solutions, guys, okay? All right. Each song that Tara loads, downloads costs $1.25. She graphs the relationship that gives the cost of Y in dollars of downloaded songs, downloaded X songs. Name one ordered pair that is a point on the graph of the relationship. So we would have 1, 1.25. 2, if we multiplied this by 2, we would have 2.50. If we multiplied it by 3, we would have 3.75. If we multiplied it by 4, we would have $5. Okay, so your ordered pairs would be 2, 250, 3, 375, 4, $5. Okay, you can write any of those. Okay, you can multiply this by 10 and make it 1250. That would be an ordered pair too. Okay, anything that you want to do that is along those lines, you can totally do. Okay, so I'm going to write in 2, 250, 3, 375, 4, Five dollars. Okay, you could write in ten and twelve fifty. Okay, anything, anything. You just multiply this number and this number by the same number, and you're going to get an ordered pair. Okay. All right. What is the area of the triangle ABC? Okay. So again, we're going to multiply these two together and then we're going to cut it in half okay so 10 times 6 is 60 
divide that by two, we get 30. And we multiply feet by feet, so it's feet squared. Okay. Maria cut a trapezoid out of a large piece of felt. The trapezoid has a height of nine centimeters. Let me write this one down. Okay. Okay. Trapezoid is okay. We have base one plus base two times the height divided by two. Okay. So it has a height of nine centimeters. Bases of six and 11. What's the area? Okay, so now I filled in all of my blanks. Okay, well, six plus 11 is 17. We need to do 17 times nine. Okay, then we're going to divide that by two. Okay, nine times seven is 63. Carry our six. Nine times one is nine plus six, 15. Now, 153 in the box. Two is not going to go into one. It'll go into 15, seven times. Seven times two is 14. Subtract, get one. Okay. One is smaller than two. I'm going to bring down my three. Two is into 13, six times. Six times two is 12. I get one left over. Well, I can't have anything left over, so I'm going to put a decimal in, and I'm going to put a zero. I'm going to bring my zero down. Two goes into ten. Five times five times two is ten. The fact is zero. So seventy-six point five centimeters, and we multiply centimeters by centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. Write your work down, guys. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out. For 10.6, come on back for 10.7 soon. See ya.